another video. Um, just on a coach now, going from London all the way to Leicester, meeting up with Daz again, and then we're gonna be off to the Yorkshire Moors for a couple of days. Um, join us on our journey. Um, it's been raining for the last couple of days, but the weather seems to be uh, seems to be very nice out there at the moment. So hopefully, hopefully it's going to stay that way. Um, so yeah, join us on our journey. Join us on our trip to the Yorkshire Moors. Um, let's go. I can't wait to get off this coach. So just arrived in Leicester, off the coach now. Thank God, I hate coaches. Um, stopped off at an Asda and uh, got some food. Just went for Daz to arrive in the van and then we're off. Straight away, we're going to Yorkshire. There he is. There he is, brother. Yes, brava! <laughs> Your chariot, oh wait, my here friend. he is! I do, my friend! <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, on our way up north again, with Daz, the TPN Explorer. Um, we've got two hours to go before we're going to reach um, North Yorkshire. We're going to the moors. Um, how long are we staying there for, Daz? Do you know? A few days. I don't know. We have not discussed it. We, we don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. We might end up in Scotland. For a <laughs> Who knows? We're just going to go. We're going to see where the road takes us. Uh, we're in the van. We've got the bed sorted out in the back. Um, and that's what it's all about, really. Just seeing where the road takes us. Go on a few hikes. And... Uh, Take some good video and some photography, hopefully. Let's go! Let's go! Moors, we're here. We're here in North Yorkshire at the Moors, 12 minutes to our destination. Hello, guys, <laughs> welcome. Um, it's bloody cold up here, but yeah, we just arrived on the North York Moors going to be spending a few days up here traveling around the area seeing what it's got to offer um, join us on this journey on this trip the second episode of exploring the British Isles with myself Dave and Daz <laughs> see you in a bit well it's 20 past two and I think it's ready ready for bed what do you think how are you feeling uh, get it done for now. We've got about two and a half hours before sunrise. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> see in a couple of hours. See in a few hours. Good morning. Welcome to the North York Moors. Um, we didn't get up for a sunrise. Um, just too knackered to be honest with you. And, um, but where we are now, and what spectacular views we are, what we've got. Um, I've just woken up, so, ugh, feeling pretty tired. But yeah, we've woken up in this magnificent place. Magnificent. Have a look at this.
absolutely stunning location we're at. Beautiful English countryside for miles and miles and miles. Um, back to the van, just had a little quick look. Back to the van, cup of tea and um, breakfast and then we'll head on out. Well, you can walk anywhere, right? Like say. Into the valley where the green grass grows. So we're on our first walk of the day, half past nine in the morning. Wednesday morning. And we're heading on down into the valley. We've been met by some wonderful, wonderful wildlife. The sheeps. The sheeps are here. Hope you guys are alright. Whenever you're watching this in the future, hopefully you're having a good time. And life is treating you well. So walking on down to a valley, I've come up from the road, I'm walking down for a tiny little village, hamlet, if you want to call it that. Walking up, walking way down to a valley. I think the river's down here. It would make sense for there to be a river down here. I do hope there's a river down here somewhere. that will be nice, won't it? And then we're heading up they are. Up to the top. To the, uh, to the yeah. other side, and it's only half past nine on the first morning. Good morning, Good York. Good morning, <laughs> North York Moors. <Mall. laughs> yeah, there's a bridge. There is a bridge. Oh look, and we've got a lovely river. I've got a lot clean enough to drink, mate. Definitely. Definitely.
So we made our way to the bottom of the valley. Little stream that's running through, or river. Now we've got to make our way up. Up the incline on the other side. A ah, bit of morning exercise, eh, Daz? Just a little bit. Oh, good. Woo! Let's go. Many rabbits. <sighs> sweating, look at him. Sweating. Never seen someone sweat so much. Jesus. You know. Oh, right. you sweaty boy. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. Right, we've come up to a road. Now, I suppose we want to turn right, right? Right. Only sit down five minutes. Yeah. Fucking okay, <coughs> oh. oh. That's fucking tough, isn't it, bro? Yeah. I need to do what you've done. Yeah, take the jacket off. Oh. Um, we're making our way up to some really old kilns. The, this area is known for old mining town, mining villages. For iron ore. Yeah, for iron ore. Yeah. And, um, in the hillside is uh, old kilns that are still there, brick kilns. So we're making our way up to there and um, having a little look around. But it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The sun is shining, the birds are out, and we're out. We're out. So we made it to the top of the valley um, and yeah behind us these are the old kilns quite cool you're not allowed inside obviously or on top it's too unstable but yeah so nice up here such a nice day and our view is um, pretty nice Hey 
you feeling, mate? Oh, all right, buddy. I needed that rest. It was a bit, um, yeah. well, some of them inclined. Getting back up there again. All we've got to do now is make our way down. We're going to make our way down over in that direction, carry on this path to the iron kilns and then make our way down the valley down to the river seven again that's in the middle that you saw earlier we've realized that's the river seven across the river seven and then back up the other side back up to the top back to where the van is somewhere over in that direction up there also we found out last night upon arrival that it is the summer solstice today longest day of the year um and yeah welcome to summer beautiful Absolutely amazing at the moment. So summer solstice, if you are pagan, I think it means it, it brings good luck, happiness, and all that jazz. All that jazz. So good luck to you for the rest of the year. Have a lovely summer. And I um, hope it brings great happiness. So just heading back now, walking around this ridge. I don't know if you can see in the distance over there. It does seem like there's some kind of mist, rain, shower coming in. So we might get caught in it. The weather can change pretty quickly up here. So I've read, um, so let's see. We've got waterproofs. Well, I've got waterproof jacket anyway. I think, I think it's only going to be a shower anyway. Yeah. And I don't think it's going to change the roots to the temperature more. No. Still pretty warm. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, we've got to go across here, yeah. around, down, and then back up the other side. Let's see what happens. So, yeah. Weather can change pretty quickly. I've just felt the first drop of rain. Hopefully, it'll just be a quick shower and then it'll go. But in the meantime, I think it might be best to put the camera away. So it's a bit of a false alarm, really. <laughs> um, it started to spit. I mean, it still is spitting now, slightly. But um, yeah, it's nowhere near as bad as I, I thought it was going to be. Making our way up now to the kilns. What kilns are these? Different ones. The iron kilns. These are the iron kilns. What are they? Uh, <laughs> Some other kilns, I don't know. Who knows? It's very nice. And yeah, that cloud is passing over that way. We are going over that way. So it's all good. Yeah, buddy. So here are the train tracks that used to be here, taking all the iron ore away. Apparently, the truck tracks had metal, didn't they? Because obviously when they blasted the stone to get the iron ore out, it had to go into off the metal trains. If it went in a wooden one, it would set fire. <laughs> so what the men used to do, rake it into the actual trains from when it was on fire and then shipped it to here and I think that's when they extracted some of the ore out as well iron up and then that's when they started doing all the send it to Teesside I think it was by the train by some aware okay so making our way around the ridge and um, we want to go straight that way 
but in between there's private fields so we're not allowed so I think what we have to do is um, make our way all the way around the path adding a couple of extra miles onto our trip we have no map we have no plan as usual it's just literally getting out in the middle of the uh, wilderness and seeing what there is so this is the one of the exciting things no plan no time no plan no time no limit no no limits no 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 <laughs> no more limits <laughs> So we've kind of got to the point where we think we're gonna start heading heading back down. So I think we I think we've got to a point now where we're gonna start heading on back down and up to the other side of the valley. Um, we don't want to walk all the way around the uh, the trail or the walk. So there is a forest here, and we we're, we're thinking maybe this trail goes up somewhere that we can make our way down through this wood out the other side somehow and um, yeah, back up onto the ridge on the other side. We'll see. So, we want to make our way down into this valley down here. We're going to go through this wood. I don't even know if it's achievable, but this is a uh, this is the fun of it, right? Found a little trail. Sheep trail. <laughs> now we're so making our way into this wooded area um, yeah First little bit of wood, maybe there's another bit. It's like we're going through the jungle right now.
Is there a building or anything? So, we made it our way to the other side of um, a ravine basically. Uh, walked down through the forest, walked out onto a field, had a little drink and then came back in again and made our way to the other side. I think there's a footpath that goes along here. So, it's a perfect, uh, perfect place to come out of. Oh, let's move it down. There you go. Um, and where we just come from, down in there, up this steep ravine, down to where the river is at the bottom, and up the other side. Daz is now knackered. Just going rehydrated. Yeah, have a little drink, and then hopefully down this path will be the end game. Got to go up again. Oh down. yeah, the other side. Yeah, of course. Of course. Up to the car. Okay, now. Oh dear. Let's go. Oh. Bit tiring that. And I'm bleeding. <laughs> but we found this nice trail actually that runs alongside the river. <coughs> so very nice. Don't forget Let's Talk Hand. www.letstalkhand.uk. Check it out. So we just made our way out and um, to Dale Head Farm Tea Garden. Welcome to the Oasis. Let's go. Ah. Oh, ding ding, I'm here. <laughs> So, we are back, we've just come up this path here, um, down, but what we did, as you saw, we went through this forest here, all the way down to the bottom, and then there was a lovely little cafe, stopped, had a cup of tea, and had some breck, breck and cheese, um, which if you don't know, that is like a fruit cake, little slice of cheese, and a little slice of strawberry as well. Lovely. So what we're going to do now, we're going to walk along this track here, which is the old railway line back on there again. Um, and then we make our way up, or make our way around, all the way around here, back to where the car is. Got some surprises. Somewhere up there. Some hidden gems. Yeah, got some hidden gems along the way apparently, been uh, tipped off about some things along the way which made us walk back up here again and this way so let's go Iron ore, been smelted. Smelted iron ore.
Um, I'm not too sure how far we've walked, it's quite a distance though. Probably around about five or six miles. We could really go and explore down in these areas, down in this valley. So get out there, go and explore. How are we feeling, Daz? I'm uh, about baked now, mate. Oh, a little bit further down, then we can rest for a bit. Yeah. And Recovery. Fair, nice, uh, nice bit of tea. Wouldn't go and nice miss right now. Tea. Yeah. Oh man. Relax. Get rehydrated. But we are, I think, on the other side yep, we're of the. Yeah. in the middle. And we're crossing over on this. From the black to the grey. We're on this side. On the other side. Cross over the River Seven. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go. How'd you feel? <laughs> so back in the van now. Um, how many miles? Eight and a half. Uh, eight and a half miles. Yeah. Eight and a half mile hike um, down the valley into the bottom, over the River Seven, back up the other side. We saw the the kilns first, the stone kiln, then the iron kiln, and then around. We were supposed to be a viaduct somewhere, but I didn't see any viaduct. I didn't see the viaduct. We've seen two waterfalls. Yeah, see, that was a pretty location there. Yeah, yeah, That was yeah. nice. And then walked, walked all the way back round again, off of the car. And um, as we've come back, I don't know if you can see, but they're doing a... Uh, I need to turn this. Turn this down. Yeah, they're doing a photo shoot with this Mercedes car. And... Um, Pretty cool. So, uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So, um, so yeah, back in the van now. Gonna just chill out for a little bit, I think, and um, try and just recoup a little bit to get yeah, some yeah. energy back. Um, so it's 20 past four. We started the, the hike at half past nine. So, seven hours, right? Yeah. We stopped off at the cafe, we had a, 
had uh, tea cake and uh, a cup of tea. But um, yeah, it's been very, very nice. A good first day. Oh, my shoulders are killing me. <laughs> my arms are killing me, my feet are killing me. And we've got to do it all again, all again tomorrow. Or yeah, whenever. So yeah, catch you guys in a bit.